Good evening, and welcome to Bluebell Mennonite Church for our Thursday night live stream singing. We are glad you tuned in, and I'm sure you'll be blessed tonight. We have a, a wonderful team here to uh, sing and minister in song for you all tonight, and uh, I'm sure you will enjoy them and be blessed. So uh, without further ado, make welcome the Summit View Youth. for watching. Um, may God be praised tonight as we sing. We are a small group from um, some of your youth. Um, most of us are about 16, 17, and 18. There's some 15-year-olds, and there's also some 19-year-olds. So we're a pretty young crowd, but we enjoy singing, and um, may, may you all be blessed as we sing tonight.
us to in your presence freely give. I'd rather be a servant in your heavenly house than to be a king living anywhere else. I'd rather live one day, one day in your heavenly Good evening to all of those, all of you who are watching on our live stream tonight. I hope you've been blessed so far with the singing. You know, if, if you're watching this tonight, there's a good chance that you've been alone for the last five months, or at least without family. And I was thinking about that. The couple weeks that I spent in the house was bad enough, but I know it had to be painful to give up grandchildren, family, and lonely, and hopefully this was a blessing to you. You know, growing up, I have so many memories of spending time with my grandparents. I used to, every day, ride my orange banana seat bike into their farm to help milk, and uh, it wasn't because of the cows. I never liked cows. It wasn't because of the pay, it was 25 cents a day. But I did it because I got to spend time with my grandparents. And I have a lot of precious memories of that. Some of you have been robbed of that, like I said, for the past few months. And I just want to remind you tonight that God still cares. I'd like to share some of my favorite verses with you. He still listens. And I was thinking about it, probably the best thing you can do right now for your children, for your grandchildren, is pray for them. We tend to get so busy with our lives, those of us who are younger, that we don't spend the time we should. But I know I'm up here tonight because of the prayers of my grandparents and my parents. Just pray that God would protect them, that he would give them wisdom, 
that they would be faithful until the end. And when you get lonely, I trust some of these Bible verses can speak to you. Just listen as I read them, or you can follow along in your Bible. I'd like to start with a verse in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Say, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. That be careful just means don't worry. And then 1 Peter 5, 7. It says, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Remember what I said? God cares. Even when you're shut away from your family, God is there. Isaiah 26, 3. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. A promise here, perfect peace, if we trust God. And then John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Don't be afraid. And I think we could say even of COVID-19. Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. That's the hope that Jesus gives us. And then 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. An old favorite in Psalm 23. Verses 3 and 4. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Psalm 34, 4. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. All these verses are just precious to me. They're all reminders that no matter what happens, and I know you've seen a lot, but the last half year has been difficult for a lot of you. Just remember, God still cares. We still care. And you can rest in that. Let's pray before they come back up. Father in heaven, I want to thank you tonight for your promises, especially the promises that you've given for these seniors who are listening tonight. I just pray that you would be very near and dear to them. You would give them peace and that somehow our land could be healed so that relationships could be restored and families that we could all be together again in love. Just thank you for what you have done for us. Keep us in your perfect will. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
It's a prayer song, and it's just perfect for the time we're in, especially with COVID and all the unrest that's been going on in the nation around us. 
And it reads like this, Lord, help us live in peace. From our blindness, set us free. Fill us with your healing love. Help us live in unity. And, and I know sometimes it's really scary to go up to people and show them Christ's love. And I don't know, I just had the experience this morning where I saw a, a man walking down 23 just out here by, no, it was 322 by Trailside, and he had this big green bag. And I don't know if he was homeless or I don't know what he was, but I drove by him the first time and I just went by him and I thought about it. I was like, it was morning, it was 7.30 this morning. I was like, you know what, I could go into Trailside and get him breakfast. But I was like, no, he probably doesn't need it. He probably, you know, he's probably just walking for the fun of it or something with a big green bag. It really didn't make sense. But I drove on by because I was scared and I was at work and I was like, you know, this, I felt like that was an opportunity that I missed. And so I was going to be back on the road in a half hour and I told God, I said, God, if he's still there, you know, somewhere in that area, I'm going to stop and get him something. And so I drove back. I didn't really have to go by Trailside, but I did anyway just to see, and he was sitting in there on the, underneath the, the overhang there by the side of the building, and, and I went and got him something, and he didn't really say much, but I could tell that he was blessed, and I don't care if it you know, made his day or not, but it made mine, and it just really spoke to me that, you know what, we gotta do what God wants us to do, even when it is scary. To all of you seniors, grandparents, great-grandparents, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. To the choir, thank you very much. That was beautiful, and uh, it was a blessing to listen to you sing. Let's pray. Father in heaven, as we go from here, we ask for your peace, for your safety upon all of our lives. Just keep us and help us to be a blessing to others, to live for you. Be ready for when you come again. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.